What is up everybody? It's your boy Britain's Truth here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of WWE 2K20 Universe Mode. Tonight we have Seamus and Cesaro of the Bar taking on the Wicked Demons. We will be having Peyton Royce taking on Brie Bella. Bella Twins, I guess, are number one contenders for the SmackDown Women's Tag Team Championships. Kevin Owens will be facing Elias. Shinsuke Nakamura will be facing Keith Lee. The SmackDown Women's Champion Butterfly will be going one-on-one -on -one with Zelina Vega. Becky Lynch will be going one-on-one -on -one with Alexa Bliss. The World Heavyweight Champion The Rock will be facing Big E. In our main event, Prince Truth of the Bar will be facing off against Montez Ford. So, I'm going to just get into this video, I guess. And it's uh, in Tampa, Florida tonight. We are in Tampa, Florida. Now, this match, I really want to play as the Wicked Demons. However, I'm going to play as, as Prince Truth's team. You know, I'm not going to go against Prince Truth. Yeah, boy. Yeah, stay hydrated. But we have Cesaro and Wicked Alice for Black starting off as Cesaro starts to match off with a big boot. Stomp to the back of the head, dropping Alistair Black. Oh, elbow drop right to the back of Alistair. Cesaro with a nice uppercut. Irish Whip taking him off the roast. Nice uppercut, dropping him again. Off the ropes. Another uppercut. Kick to the midsection. Into the corner, and another uppercut. Cesaro is all over Alistair Black. Oof. Need it straight to the head. Top to the chest. Sending Alistair Black into the corner. Tags out to Sheamus. Sends Alistair Black into the corner. Kick to the midsection. Sheamus getting a hold of that. Black! And slamming him down. I'm gonna get Cesaro back in here. Cesaro. Cesaro coming back into the ring. Really cranking on that neck. Head getting slammed right down into the mat. Leg drop right across Dallas for Black. Nice knee right to the face. Talk to the chest. Oof. Right across the back. Nice leg drop. No. Damn it. But here comes the Demon King now. I don't know if that was supposed to be a dodge or not, but Cesaro did it. Or maybe Finn Balor dodged. The uppercut. Form. That about going for a punch was decided against it, I guess, as a belly to back suplex. Dragon, the Demon King, has Valor up again as he plants him right down. A very dangerous position for the Wicked Demons. Not looking too good tonight. Pulls him back, dropping him right on his back. Ducks under, hits a clothesline. Demon King really working on it here. I went for a strike, but it seems like Cesaro was able to counter. And he hits a wicked uppercut. May have just bought Cesaro some breathing room. Yeah. 
cranking on the neck now. Slamming his head down right to the mats. Another leg drop from Cesaro. Chop. Punch. Look for another punch. <laughs> punch is dropping. The Demon King. Is a little wobbly. And the uppercut is delivered to the Demon King. Cover. Just the two counts. Seamus looked like he was going to do something to Wicked Alice for Black, but didn't get a hold of him, so I guess he decided against it. So Cesaro and Demon King still in the ring. The belly to back suplex is hit. He likes Cesaro to stop the tag. Bringing him into the ring. This body slam. Uh oh. I forgot what this move was. Locks him up, but I think I don't think Cesaro realized how close he was to the ropes. No, don't roll him that way. Roll him. Pull him. Okay. The bar takes the win. Right there, I thought the match was going to be turning around. to the next and up next we have Peyton Royce sorry one half of the women's tag team champions Peyton Royce taking on Brie Bella up next I feel like Greg may have been getting tired with that. There's a lot of introduction there. <laughs> kind of like Le Champion. That demigod. <laughs> Does Jericho have any other nicknames in AEW? Like any more titles that he has? Not like titles as in championships. But I know Cody Rhodes has like two. He has two um, names, the American Nightmare and the Prince of Pro Wrestling. Prince Truth might have a problem with that. Have a little talk with Cody. We have Peyton Royce and Brie Bell about to be going one on one. The college for the Bell. This match is underway. Peyton Royce went for a. Uh, Cross body but was unsuccessful. She went for another strike to Bree. Bree was able to counter or more, more, more or less dodge. I don't know what exactly. These women don't seem like they know exactly what they're doing as Bree hits a drop kick on Peyton. First stop was unsuccessful. As Peyton Royce hits a drop kick. Oof. Four. 
A strike from Bree. Nice counter. Oof. We're on six. These two women need to think about getting back in the ring. Oof. Eight. Well, Bree, don't. Uh, Billy, don't touch her. I'm trying to do something. Nine. Oh, referee's on nine. No, I'm getting back in the ring. No. What the hell are you doing? Okay. Okay. What happened? What? Did. Is, what happened? Did. I didn't mean to grab a chair for one. Is it because Billy touched her? <laughs> it's trash. Billy, I told you to leave her alone. But I guess we're going to move on to our next match. We have Kevin Owens and Elias. I will be playing this match, though, as Elias. Why are the entrances on for this? No, not supposed to be on. Referee calls for a bell on Elias and Kevin Owens. Nice knee lift dropping Kevin Owens. Nice uppercut. Kevin Owens then into the corner. Picking up Kevin Owens and hitting the suplex. I was representing Kevin Owens right to the referee for a knee strike was unsuccessful. Back up from Elias and finishing that off with a drop kick. Kevin Owens rolling to the outside and Elias is going to follow. Oof. Kevin Owens gets sent right into the turnbuckle. That's not a turnbuckle. That's definitely a barricade. Elias coming back in. Bulldog from Elias. And in strikes after strikes. Irish whip setting Kevin Owens in. Nice right into the face of Kevin Owens. Uh oh, oh. Owens in a bad predicament. I've seen that move happen many times to different competitors. From different competitors. Uh, Prince Shrith uses that actually. But not about Prince Shrith right now. Kevin Owens coming in. Trying to look for a cover. Trying to catch Elias off guard, but Elias is able to counter. Super kick. Dropping Elias. What am I doing? What am I doing? Elias is able to get his feet on the ropes. Nice punch to the face. Nice knee strike. But uh, Kevin Owens quickly able to get back up. Not taking no for an answer. Elias getting up. Dodged. Well, he didn't really dodge. Owens missed. Nice hot shot hung up on the rope. Nice knee strike. Elias heading up top. Elbow drop from Elias. Just a two count. Kevin Owens. He will stay in this match. But Elias could be looking drift away. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I I had this match one.
Oh, just wrenching. Owens on the top rope there. Cover from Elias. And Owens is able to kick out again. Fight Owens, fight. Drop the knee right down. Nice forearm. Elias coming off the ropes. Hits a bulldog. Owens again getting right back up. Samoa and drop from Kevin Owens. Wrenching the arm. His forearm from Elias. DDT. Elias has one on top. Hits the elbow drop. Cover. Just the two count again. Kevin Owens is staying in this fight and everything that he has. Kick to the midsection. Drift away. Elias gets the three count. Stop it. Hey. Stop. Cat was about to drink this. I'm gonna say cat like you guys don't know who she is. That's the Phoenix. <laughs> She turned around and looked at me. Here is your winner, ladies and gentlemen, Elias. Yeah, she uh, went down here. Then I said, stop it. And she came up here and then went up there. On to the next. Oh, wait, can I exit? Can I exit? Did I get it in time? You have like a split second to hit exit if you change your mind. And I got it in time. Entrance is off. On. Off. On. On. Okay. But up next we have Shinsuke Nakamura and Keith Lee. I didn't really know who I wanted to play in this match. I knew I wanted to play as... Keith Lee a little bit more, but then I was like, you know what? No, I kind of want to be Shinsuke Nakamura. But I was going back and forth, and I decided not go with Keith Lee. If we call the bell, close line from Keith Lee. Punch in the midsection, forearm. Nice leg sweep taken down. Shinsuke Nakamura, kick to the chest. Laying in strikes after strikes. Taking him down. Moonsault from Keith Lee. Not a thing this man cannot do in this ring. Pure talent from Keith Lee. It's another moonsault. Went off the ropes. The double axe handle is connected. Nice elbow drop. Ooh, what a punch. I'm surprised Nakamura is still awake after that strike. Oh, no, I didn't want to do this again. And another moonsault from Keith Lee. Fans get behind Keith Lee here. Another clothesline.
Oh, elbow. Didn't seem to affect Keith Lee too much. Irish whip. Bounce. And into each other as Keith Lee hits a wicked drop kick. Nice power bomb. Oh, looking for another one. Another power bomb. Shinsuke absolutely getting decimated. Kick to the midsection. Over the top rope, sending Shinsuke to the outside. Oh, no, 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 not up the ramp, not up the ramp. Ugh. Keith Lee and Nakamura leaving the leaving ringside as Nakamura is slammed right on the ramp. Oh, that was a horribly, horribly performed. Referee is halfway through the count. Irish whips in and Nakamura back into the ring. Keith Lee. Planning Nakamura down, looking to win. But Nakamura says no. Takes Nakamura down. It's countered. Nakamura trying to get his bearings back, but Keith Lee's going to meet him on the outside. He gets sent right into the barricade again. Looking for a kick was unsuccessful. As Nakamura is able to hit a power bomb on the Keith Lee. Keith Lee putting Nakamura back into the ring. What a clothesline. Kind of like turned Nakamura inside out. Went for a punch, but Nakamura was able to counter. Beautifully executed. Nice back elbow. Nice forearm. Another moonsault from Keith Lee. Keith Lee heading up top. Another moonsault. He does. Connects it with another moonsault. Cover on Shinsuke Nakamura. And another two count. Nakamura is just too, too resilient. Nope, stops the strike. Double. Palms right to the chest. Picking up Nakamura. Gets him in a belly to belly position. He's able to counter. Throw it, Nakamura. I feel like Keith Lee's building a bunch of momentum. Keith Lee planning Nakamura down again. And he takes the victory. What a match from these two. Nice Phoenix. Don't you go back down there to my drink. Matter of fact, I'm going to pick it up. No. Dying. She, she, she really interested in my drink. You got water over here. On to the next match. Up next, we have Butterfly. I'm sorry, Smackdown Women's Champion Butterfly 
going one on one with Zelina Vega. I will not be playing this match. Come here, Phoenix. Let's go. Let's say hi to everybody. Say hi, everybody. Say hi. Want to do the commentary for this one? Oh, you don't talk much. No, you're not climbing up me. You're not climbing up on me. Nope. Phoenix, release. Oh, no, don't fall. I don't want you to get hurt. I just don't want you climbing on me. Fighting with my cat. <laughs> this Prince Truth versus Phoenix Thomas. There she is. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Columbus, Ohio, the SmackDown Women's Champion, the Queen. That is a fact. I don't know why Prince Truth isn't out there tonight. Just to keep y'all posed, Prince Truth and Butterfly are a couple. I just forgot to put him on out coming out there tonight. Maybe if you know he has a match later. My legs are itching. But anyways, we got Zelina Vega and Butterfly. Zelina Vega is unable to keep the cover. Try to go for an early gone cover. Could you imagine beating Butterfly right now? Heading into Sunday. Survivor Series. Butterfly will obviously be Team SmackDown going one on one with Yeah, <laughs> Desi Cakes. Lena Vega goes up and gets hit with a brain buster. Cover. Punch to the jaw. Sends her out. She hits a drop kick. Picks up Zelina with a straight front kick to the gut. Face first into the apron. Picks up Butterfly. Zelina gonna try to take out take a count out victory. I don't know, but Zelina now playing looks like she's playing a little bit of cat and mouse. But Butterfly ain't gonna play it. Brain Buster on the outside. <laughs> Phoenix is absolutely crazy. But Butterfly all over Zelina Vega. Oof. Five. Irish whip. Referee halfway through Six. the counts. Zelina Vega again back into the ring. Seven. 
Coming on seven. Is Zelina going to restart the count? The punished butterfly here on the outside. Three. No use yelling at her because it ain't going to help anything. <laughs> four. He's on four. Once again. Five. Butterfly. Getting, getting this match put back into the ring. Pushes Elena back down with an easy kick. Turns her around. Fireman's carry positioning. Oof! Kick right to the skull. Butterfly all kinds of jazz though. Off the ropes. Butterfly taking her time. Sit out, power bomb. Wrenches the arm. Knee strike right to the arm. Oof, right off the ropes. Andrade. Oh, oh sh just distracted from Andrade. Looking for a pin on Butterfly. Butterfly counters into a cover. But now, Zelina has control over Butterfly again. And Butterfly going to turn it into a cover of her own. Right back and forth between these women. Oof. Kick right to the chest. You should have just stayed down, Zelina. Because if I... Yep, I know Butterfly correctly. Pow driver. Butterfly caught. Pow driver. Cover from Butterfly. right back up butterfly again catches her up butterfly caught up and a neck breaker Is that you playing hello I'm not I'm not playing right now and hello to you as well this is I'm letting the AI play if you're not familiar with my channel um, I don't play matches with the custom superstars because all custom superstars are based off people that I know, like friends of mine. And um, I don't play championship matches to keep them fair. But I will be playing a match. At I'm at least playing the main event. The only custom characters I'll play as is uh, Prince Truth, my character, and my cat's character. Just a one count. Zelina Vega trying to pin the champion. But don't get it don't get it twisted. This match is not a championship match. Punch to the face from Zelina Vega. Kick to the midsection. Hammerlock DDT. Cover from Zelina. Just a two count. Slamming the head of Butterfly repeatedly off the mat. Butterfly rolls her up into a cover. And Zelina's able to kick out. These two women are giving each other a fight. Picks up Zelina. Butterfly hits the kick right to the skull. Zelina takes down Butterfly. I, I wouldn't give Butterfly any room. Butterfly is not anyone to take lightly. It's an accolade is locked in from Zelina. Is Butterfly gonna get out of it? Take a time to recover she, after she pressed Zelina Vega down. Kick to the midsection. DDT. Going for a cover. Zelina kicks at it too. I like how it just let me know that there's another person watching. Knowing that this knowing that the first that the one person was a moderator from Twitch, I believe, because it gets on as soon as I start. And this person commented Je uh, Jessica. Butterfly. Picks up Zelina.
Drags Lena. Cover from Butterfly. Just a two count. Abraham punch was unsuccessful. Counter sending Zelina into the turnbuckle. Butterfly just kind of staring her down. Might be saying a few words. Kick to the midsection. Butterfly looking for the neck breaker. Connects it. I'm not done. Wrenches the arm and hits a drop kick. Zelina, very smart move for her to go to the outside. Butterfly gets sent back into the ring. Zelina coming back in. That was very smart on Zelina's part. Roll to the outside. Don't try to. I am so sorry about that, guys. I thought my game crashed for a second. I was really, really mad. I was gonna be really mad. I don't know why the game stopped. I mean, I, know, I do know why. I'm not like I'm playing. I can. I didn't get no warning that my controller was low. Or if I did, I wasn't paying attention. But Selena goes for a cover on the champion. Butterfly's able to kick out easily. Could you imagine if Selena gets a win over Butterfly here tonight? What that could do for her career? Kick to the midsection. Hammerlock DDT. Cover. And she does it. Zelina takes the win over Butterfly. And Zelina thinking here. The match is over, Zelina. Zelina doesn't care. I like how the referee's like kind of calm about it. Hey, hey, okay, okay. All right, you're done? Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> but on to the next match. I think The Rock is in action up next. And I'm wrong. Unless one of these people is The Rock in disguise. Becky Lynch will be taking on Alexa Bliss. Becky Lynch is in action. Becky Lynch recently had a match against Butterfly. Who we just saw in action. And Tato was on the line to see who would be going to Survivor Series. Butterfly was successful in that match, obviously. Hey, hello. Ah, you decided to join me. <laughs> I know this person. She told me she probably wasn't going to be able to watch the stream tonight. But she made it anyway. Suplex from Becky Lynch. Becky Lynch ascending to the top rope. I'll get down when I decide to ref. Becky Lynch with a leg drop. Coming off the top. Went for a stomp. Was unsuccessful. Becky Lynch hits the leg drop. Again. Coming off the ropes. Looking for another leg drop. And she hits it. But, ooh, looking for a early cover on there. I just got my phone back. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, that's right. She let... Kid, you were, you, kids were on your phone? Siblings, cousins, something like that? Your kids? I'm oh, just lying. I know, I know you don't have a... I don't know you, I know you don't have a child. Prince Truth does. Him and Butterfly have a chance. Kick to the midsection. Throwing Alexa Bliss. Becky Lynch coming off the ropes. It's a leg drop. Again. Another leg drop. Spinning back kick. Laying in kicks after kicks. Yeah. Yeah, what? I asked you a handful of questions. 
Becky Lynch plants Alexa Bliss, but Alexa Bliss again to look for a cover, but is unable to keep the cover on. Becky Lynch quickly taking down Alexa Bliss into a, a, a disarmor. Disarmor locked in. She's gonna get out. She's gonna get out. No, she's not. No, she's not. Yes, no. <laughs> but Alexa Bliss is able to escape from Becky Lynch. Call her another time. Becky Lynch pushes Alexa Bliss away. Nice forearm dropping her. Backsplex. The kids had my phone. Well, I knew. I knew that. I knew that. Cover from Becky Lynch. Just a two count. Becky Lynch is tired. She barely had that cover on. Could be the reason Alexa Bliss countered. But Becky Lynch again going to look for another disarmor. Locked. She had it locked. But again, Alexa Bliss is able to get out of it. Nice knee lift from Becky Lynch. Body slam. I swear, that's how I broke my wrist at one point. My hand was behind my back. And I went down on my back. Drop kick from Becky Lynch. I think I think you know, my wrist. I think my I didn't I didn't get my wrist put behind my back. I think I put my hand there, not thinking about it, like to catch myself, and I landed on it. So all my weight. What did you ask? I, I well I I asked you um like cousins or like siblings. It's not important, but I just like. Becky Lynch again with another backsplex. And now another disarmor. You know, Alexa Bliss, this is the third disarmor. What kind of damn I can't I canceled it. I shouldn't have. What kind of damage has that had to do to Alexa Bliss? We might find out right here as Alexa Bliss goes for I'm sorry, Becky Lynch goes for a cover. Uh, enough damage. That's the answer. The answer is enough. Cousins. Thought, see, I thought that was the answer. Not that it's important, but... It still says one person's watching me. I know that's bullshit. Because the moderator is watching me. And so is Caitlyn. I, I don't know if Jessica is still here. Because Jessica was commenting earlier. Here is your winner, Becky Lynch. On to the next... Actually, I, I kind of want to exit. I want to exit because I thought The Rock was on uh, for this match, but he wasn't. All right, okay. We got two more matches. We got the World Heavyweight Champion, The Rock, taking on Big E. And we have Prince Truth taking on one half of the Tag Team Champions, Montez Ford. Phoenix, don't you go up there. She's about to be in right in front of my computer. But I will be playing this match as Big E. World Heavyweight Champion about to get wrecked. I have a plan. I, I've, I have a, I'm not going to go into it right now. But I have a reason. That Big E. I have a reason that I haven't been playing as a rock. Actually. That, that's what I'm trying to say. I'm not going to get into it right now. But you guys will know soon enough. I don't see... Anyone else? Huh? Yeah, Rock will be at Survivor Series though. The is for one ball. He'll be facing Edge, making his way to the ring right? from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds. The World Heavyweight Champion, The Rock. It's hard to tell anymore. The Rock, 
I mean, The Rock. The Rock is the champion, but Edge and Drew McIntyre keep playing hot potato with the title, so it's hard to know who the champion is on Raw. I don't see anyone else's comment but mine. Yeah, you you won't. Because you joined after their comments, you won't see anything before. Like if sometimes when you leave and you would if like if you were to leave and then come back like later for whatever reason or refresh or whatever else, your comments might disappear as well. I'm not saying to leave, but I'm just saying like that usually happens. You you won't you wouldn't see anyone's comments that commented before you. Y'all, oh, but whether you're watching live or you're watching on YouTube, you guys should go definitely give me a follow on TikTok. It's that same thing as it is on here, Prince underscore Truth. Well, unless you're watching on YouTube, then it's Prince underscore Truth. Because <laughs> on YouTube, it's Prince Truth. There's no underscore. Biggie, we're skipping. Calls for the bell. Big E and Kofi King. That's not the match. Kingston is on the outside. We're going one on one with The Rock. Big E now has The Rock in control. There's control over The Rock, I should say. Throw in The Rock. Oh, I've never used this app. Well, that's, that's a lie. Because you've watched my streams before. Are you lying? On the Prince Truth channel, nice counter from The Rock. That was beautiful. You're lying on the Prince Truth channel. Belly to belly. Nice takedown. Cover from The Rock. Just the one. But look, King, yeah, it was just the one. And for a kick, Biggie was able to evade as a belly to back suplex is hit. bomb to the rock overhand punch to the head Irish whip rock rock gets dropped nice kick to the midsection rock just kind of fell oh nice take oh dragon screw other than seeing you, I've never used this app. Only got it for you. Ah, I feel appreciated. Going for a kick, then a punch. Off the ropes with the, to attack the rock. But you should definitely check out other channels. Um, two channels that I like to watch a lot is uh, Delusional Trash, and that's all one word. And uh, Mac, the number two, Cool 93. No, 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 no. Yeah, think about it, Biggie. Think, why can't I get in the ring? Why is he just being a pain? Am I hitting the wrong button or something? It's the same button to get in the ring, right? I don't know. I've been playing two different wrestling games recently, so. <laughs> Picks up Biggie. Dalt turns him around. Reverse attacking the back. Ah, uh, you sent me a heart. I appreciate it. Much love for y'all. Just using the outside as a weapon. Six. On the apron. Attacking the rock. Rock just slowly falling out of the ring. Referee has to restart the count because the rock was in the ring. I'm telling you, that's how I get in the ring. Punch to the midsection. And then a knee strike right to the face. Big E. With a big splash. And Big E beats the rock. Ufa. Are you still here, Jessica? Cause it's telling me there's only one person watching. When I know damn gonna well that's that's a that's a lie. Cause the moderator's here and Caitlin's here. 
But we're moving on to the main event. Prince Truth is in action. Should I play as Prince Truth or should I play as Montez Ford? <laughs> Me, obviously. Prince Truth about to go one on one with Montez Ford. And the people in the back are so wrong because Angelo Dawkins is going to be in Montez's corner and Cesaro is going to be in Prince Truth's corner. The reason Prince Truth and Montez Ford are facing off against each other is because Prince Truth and Alex Strano are going to be facing them in the coming months for the title, for the tag team titles. The the reason they ain't facing off against each other at the next pay-per-view is because, which is this Sunday, is because it's Survivor Series. And the fact that it's Survivor Series, it, uh... Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of Shrew Profits are going to face off against... Who's the Raw Tag Team Champions? Who is the Raw Tag Team Champions? I feel like a really bad host because I don't even know who the Raw Tag Team Champions are. I feel like if I would, if I see them, I'm, I'm gonna definitely feel dumb. I want to know what. Montez Ford has in that cup to make him act the way he does to make him have all that energy because I'd like to have some right, unless it's an energy drink because I can't have energy drinks it raises my anxiety in a bad way but Prince Truth about to go one on one with Montez Ford if we call for the belt, this match is underway. Is Prince Truth coming out of the gate strong? Kick to the back. Irish whip. Prince Truth went for a drop kick. Came up way too early. Went to hit that drop kick again. Was unsuccessful. As he picks up Montez Ford with a Uranagi. That man from Prince Truth. Prince Truth, as he comes over the top rope, taking down Montez Ford. Cesaro, don't you touch him? You want you want to beat up Angelo Dawkins? I could care less. Don't touch him. Don't touch him, Cesaro. Yeah. Prince Truth sending Montez Ford into the turnbuckle. I'm sorry. The uh. Ring post. Oh come on, Prince! This was the, I again. I'm under there on accident. Oh, chop, chop from Montez Ford. Kinder stick not used. The belly to back suplex. Screw it. I don't. I didn't mean to grab the Kinder stick anyway. So screw it. Enziguri. I was gonna use it, but <laughs> I love Kinder sticks. I really do. It's one of my favorite weapons. I actually, ha I actually own two. They're both over there. One's right next to my door. One's right behind my uh, bed. Prince Truth. Prince Truth locking him up. Sleeper hold. I'm going to let him out. Screw it. I'm looking to end this match. Kick to the midsection. Prince Truth. Guillotine drop. And that's why we're going to be tag team champions Sunday. 
Well, not Sunday because Sunday we aren't facing off of tag team titles. Here is your winner, the Prince. But that is going to do it for this episode, guys. I do thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys ever miss anything and you guys want to catch up on everything, you head over to my YouTube channel at Prince Truth. If you're not there already. And if you haven't done already, hit that subscribe button, turn on those push notifications so you never miss an episode. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, guys, I am out.